Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, the part two of our Dawson tour. So yeah, we're just gonna go out and check out the last few stops here in Dawson and we're gonna go go on top of the hill later called the dome or something and then we're gonna go to her fish camp her grandma's fish camp or their family's fish camp and gonna go do some fishing so let's get into it go anywhere we're gonna go eat some food and we missed the breakfast so right now we are at what's this uh, triple J's yeah it tells so we're just gonna go here and eat our brunch and then, yeah so they have all day breakfast here so if you ever guys come up here just come here at this uh, Triple J. So, yeah. Okay, we're just gonna go eat and we'll be right back with you. And yeah. Hey, yo. Just talk, so, just talk. Let's look at the red dot. So, we're gonna go to the dome right now. So, the dome is like you can see the whole Dawson, the whole Dawson city. So that's the point of why we're going up there. So you guys can see it. Yeah. Welcome to the dome, guys. So here, we are now on top of Dawson City. So... Yeah. Gonna show you guys like the top of Dawson City. you guys enjoy that and yeah this is the dome now so now we're gonna go to her fish camp now so the next clip will be on what was your fish camp called Hager's fish camp so we're gonna go there and check out the salmons and yeah I'm gonna go catch some fish so if you haven't checked out the part one of our Dawson City trip, check it out up up there on that side, right there. Should be popping up right now. Thank you guys for checking it out. So yeah. So the next clip will be at the fish camp. So I will guys see you later. Bye. Bye. Yo, so we are now finally at the fish camp so later on we are going to uh, go for a boat ride and we were gonna go fishing so I'm gonna take you guys and yeah I hope you all guys enjoy this so yeah.
So now we are going to clean the fish. No, we're gonna gut it. Then gut it. it. Gut it and then clean it. So, yeah, this is how they do it. So, well, when I'm in the Philippines, it's different. And now we are here on on the fish camp. It's different as well. So, let's see how 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 it works. So let's go do it. As you see, this one's a female. She has some eggs for us. So, thank goodness I knew she was a female. Now, bowl, please. Thank you. And then you can just put that to the side over there. So, so apparently the fish that we caught, it's a female. No, now, well, the first one of them. So is they got eggs, right there. So, ooh, we want some eggs. <laughs> she caught one right there. Say hello to a baby fishy. <laughs> she caught one. She caught one. Okay, I'm gonna put him back now. So after you take out the eggs and the female, you want to remove all her guts. So we go up to the front, cut it off. See, I don't know if you can get in there right there. You see that? Yeah. So we want to cut all that off. Those are stuff we don't eat and we don't need. All right. So that's like her liver, her liver stuff, and yeah. What I like to do sometimes is take little chunks and feed the minnows because it's so cute to watch them. As you seen earlier, I caught one. <laughs> so after we're done with the chunks, we just in the river, and another fish will eat them. Hmm. Cannibalism. Yes. No. Take that. Actually, no. Take that one out. <laughs> well, it technically is cannibalism. If a fish eats another fish, right? Or no? Or Front open, make sure that's cut off. And you wanna, this is where the part where you wanna detach the head. So just follow the gills here. It should come off easy and then. That's, oh, mine crooked. But that backbone is the hardest to always get out. With the head, you can um, you keep them, but you want to take out the gills, so you just cut it up. Okay, how to get fish. I'm having so much difficulty. <gasps> to get these guys out, you don't need to keep them. And make sure you have everything out. Stuff you don't need. Get that. Some little bit puffed over gills are in there. I'm gonna pop those out. So you see, nice and clean. And once you're done, you throw it in there to get washed. Now, one last stop with these suckers over here. Oh, Freaking me. So you wanna cut these extra skin off? 
and then now this is the part the minnows love the most that's when all this comes out and you don't need to keep that either that's just gross Salmon's done. There's two ways you can hold the fish. You need to hold it by that. If you don't have enough tough grip, you see these little fins here? Stick your thumb in it. There you go. Then you just pop around and get ready to wash. Then you wash off all the blood, all the slime, and that's how you get a fish. Bloody ring. So now it's my turn to do this. So let's see how it goes. Let's see if I know how to do it. Alright. Ooh. Okay, how to do it first again? <laughs> Turn it upside down. What? Turn it upside down. Right there. No, hold the head like you were doing. Hold it. What? And then. Here? No, no, no. Remember, right? knife up. I know. <laughs> Can I just start it for you to show you? Just take it. Go oh, for the okay. pee yeah, hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go for the pee hole. Make sure not too deep. You okay. don't want to cut it in the inside. Just try to keep it. No, tilt it. No, tilt it like that. Or okay. you just get the top, right? And let's go all the way to the end here. I hate, I hate that. Now you tilt that way, and then just pull it up and just cut. And come all the way down here. Okay? So once you... So, keep going just a little bit more. Okay, now go and just push your knife forward. It's like, crack it down, yep. Just like that. Perfect! You're good, just don't think about them. Itchy. You're fine, just don't think about them. Okay. So, as you see, I told you this was. Oh, this gentleman was not a female. This one's a male. You can tell in the male, and they have the milk, the little milk socks here. Milk socks. Well, yeah, because like act or sperm. Oh um, no, not. Well, actually, the females. You know how the females will lay the eggs? Yeah. Well, one of the males will come along, and they will take this, and they will put that over the eggs okay. after they after the females lay it. So just go to the front here and just pull this whole thing out. This right here. Right here. And just all that, you just grab all that and just pull it out. Just rip it out. Just rip it out. You don't have to be gentle, just pull it. Just pull it. Oh you no. Can... Um, the heart, where's the heart? It's the heart's in the front. You don't have to worry about it. No, no pull out the heart. Right there, that's the heart. Um, Dakota wants that one. He broke most of the heart. He cut it in half. He cut the heart in half. Uh oh. Okay, the wrestling is from it. Just pause it. Yeah. You know what a fun fact is? If you get a live one and the hearts don't beat, and after you uh, whack it, but if you give the hearts a good squeeze, like a really good squeeze, you can feel it thump one more time. But that's only if it's freshly alive. Fortunately, this fish was dead one more time. He pulled him up. Just pull it. Just rip it out. Seriously, don't be gentle. Just be quick and fast. And just throw it up. I got blood on my phone. Darn it. Smooth. Just go. Well, the good thing is it comes out of electronics. Just gotta get a warm paper towel, babe. Yep. Hold on, I wanna grab a little of this. 
for my minnow buddies. Now, just keep them all out, like even this. Oh. Yo, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that. The nice, this is the Yukon River, and I hope you guys enjoy that and I hope you guys get some little bit of lesson there how to gut how to clean the fish yeah so all right thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and say thank you for this girl right there this girl baby hi. say hi <laughs> she, she caught two fish or one two right I pulled two I, uh, he, I pulled she pulled yeah so yeah I hope you guys enjoy that thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos to come and I know this is not like the car car stuff and all that stuff but hey that's why I called JDM Yukon because I wanted to show the Yukon part and the other side is the car parts so yeah Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next one. And thank you so much. Bye. Love you all. Peace and have a good day.